And it's now time for the business review from law school setback to a thriving pet resort. It's the story of Rene's Palace. Here's Deidre Thomas. I actually failed my first year at the Norman Mandel Law School. But from the splinters of shattered dreams barked success in the form of Renee's Palace, a thriving pet resort where wagging tails and furry cuddles reign supreme. I had to give up my side job at the call center and so I decided to do dog grooming on the side you know to get extra money for lunch money and groceries and that's really how it started so I started grooming on the weekends you know I taught myself from YouTube now the company offers additional pet care services. As Director Rene Perry says, the company grew significantly in its first three months, prompting her to relocate twice. The business entails dog grooming, um, dog boarding, as you can see, we have several dogs here, doggy daycare, so parents going to work or they have an appointment, they will drop their dogs off. We're open from 7 a.m and we close at 7 p.m. Um, we do dog imports and dog exportation. So we help um, family get their pets to any country in the world. And we also help families get their dogs or their cats into Jamaica as well. Yet the growth doesn't stop there. Think about a five-star hotel, but one for pets. Mrs. Perry has moved from having just one staff member on the grounds to five, offering 24-hour care for her four-legged guests. And she walked us through the process to access these services. So you first make your appointment. Um, once you make your appointment, we're going to give you a call. So the receptionist would give you a call and ask you whether or not your dog is up to date on all the vaccines. Notwithstanding this growth, Mrs. Perry had to contend with a few hiccups along the way. Challenges to over that we had to overcome were internal um, problems such as parvovirus. So you would have a, a healthy dog come in here and this is something that I've recently experienced where a dog fully vaccinated would come down with the parvovirus, which is very new to me and it's rare also to veterinarians. Having overcome these challenges, Renee's Palace has forged an alliance with another entity and is now looking to increase the business's paw print. We want to get to other parishes such as Montego Bay, Ocho Rios. Those are the parishes that I would like to expand in in the future. For the Business Review, I'm Deidre Thomas.